brand new turf. We used to have a logo right there. I guess they didn't want us to have one anymore. But the sides are still all mucked up. Weight room is all crowded. But we got brand new turf and it feels wonderful. Can't wait to break it in because we can't do anything else anyway. And that was some of the first feet to stand on it. All right, so we're in the middle of cleaning up, trying to get everything back set. We got the end down there cleaned up. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's a mess in here. Everything is covered in black soot. My man has to work a lot. But we're trying to help him out. But if you can see, haven't started on this end. Yeah, look at, look, that is all like, see that? It's all filth and it covers everything, everything. Even the scale's dirty. But we got the tires and med balls and kettlebells and rowers and blah, 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 blah. But I feel like I'm gonna die of black lung or whatever they called it from the mine workers and I've never even been in a mine. So we'll have to see. But I'm trying to help out because my boss is in here working hard and she has a heart condition. So let's get after it. Hello, Izzy. Hello. She's in here breathing the stuff about to die. Let's just tap it out on me. We can't, we can't let the future die. <laughs> Back to work. All right, so I'm home from shift number one. Cleaning was disastrous. Uh, I was moving the last rack right before I left and I dropped it on my toe. And now my toe really hurts, but thank God I ain't break it. But on the bright side, the W-2s came in. It's always a good day when that happens. Always a good day. And my dog just ran outside, so how is my door open? Man, he could have ran away. I need to go figure this out. That was a close one. Ah, I guess the door got left cracked open. And that's how he got out. And I'm actually very proud of him because typically he tries to run out and run downstairs. And the last couple of times he's gotten out, he's been all over the place. One time he even got outside of the complex and somebody picked him up in the Jeep. Thank God they brought him back. But the door was left open and he didn't go anywhere. So progress there. But I need to relax now, wash my face and arms and stuff. I don't want to clean up too much because I got to go back and clean some more when I go back for my second shift. Finally got my nails clean and now this stuff is right back under them. So, <sighs> not excited about that. So yesterday I intentionally didn't finish the vlog because I wanted to show y'all something. All that cleaning I did yesterday. All for nothing. They moved everything back off the field. So everything I did from five to nine yesterday was for nothing. It looks like I'm gonna have to do it again today. Great way to start my day, right? I finished my morning shift and I'm on my way back and it's not for my second shift. Actually, we have a new guy in who's about to be the new head coach. And um, he wants to start doing this team building thing, I guess, where we have to do a partner, I mean, a, a staff workout. So instead of me having to go back to work once, now I have to go back come home go back again so i'm really not looking forward to it but hopefully it's something positive hopefully i enjoy myself but ultimately hopefully i don't have to go every week let's check it out
Okay, <clears throat> the workout is over and it was a beast. I mean, whew, I'm out of breath, I'm tired, I'm sweating really hard. Um, so basically what it is, it's different than what I thought. I thought that we were gonna come up here and like coach each other up on different techniques and lifts and like just basically polish up each other's knowledge. But it was actually a workout designed by our head coach and it took me right back to college. I felt like I was getting ready uh, to kick the season off of football or I was finishing the uh, um, endurance cycle for track or something. I mean, it was great. It was great. It was intense. Um, and the way it's going to go is every week a different coach gets to come up with the workouts. So what that basically means is that every week you're going to get to work on somebody else's strength. On my week, we're boxing. But the workout was definitely rough. Um, almost tore my hands up. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so hold on. So, yeah. Tore that hand up pretty good. But this one, I messed up so bad. Uh, hold on one second. Let me show you how bad I messed it up. If I can... All right. So, check this hand out. Yeah, I bust that one clean off. My granddad used to call them monkey blisters. So that one didn't make the cut. That one's going to go any minute now. Those two are just there. So yeah, it was fun. My hands be sore for a couple of days from it. But if they can change the time, I'm definitely going to come every week because it took me right back to college. Right, so I'm home from my second shift. Um, busted up my hands like I showed you. And now they really hurt, so I don't know how the shower was about to work out. I'm going to have to shower with one hand because um, I cleaned it out earlier, and it hurt pretty darn bad. So got sushi for dinner from the fresh market. It looks good, but one of my best buddies, probably is my best buddy, is Chinese, and he's always warned me against getting this stuff because you don't know if they're using old ingredients that are about to expire or if it's been made two days ago or whatever. So if I'm sick in the next couple of days, you know why, because I ate store-bought sushi. But it's pretty good. I already tried it. Um, I got to make a rehab tool for one of my athletes, a peanut, and then um, shower, and then I get to end my day. It's been a long one. Well, the workout made it feel a lot longer than what it was. So this here is a peanut. It is basically two tennis balls put together and taped up and it's used to like roll out sore muscles um, but it's primarily used for plantar fasciitis and one of my athletes has it in both feet so I tried to make it one other day using KT tape and it's already coming undone so I'm gonna make another one using pre-wrap and some athletic tape so yeah let's get after it. this is my KT tape I'm not gonna use this again <clears throat> gonna hold up a lot longer than this one even though this one feels a lot sturdier it's just that the kt tape is gonna uh <clears throat> excuse me it's gonna lose its stickiness whereas this right here the athletic tape it's gonna last a lot longer i think i'm actually gonna like color it with a markers because it's gonna get dirty it's gonna i mean it's gonna have feet on it uh you're gonna roll it around under your feet so yeah i think i'm just gonna go ahead and color it. so let me go grab a marker really quick i'll be right back pretty sure that would do a lot better. All right, so I finally finished coloring it with my permanent marker. Didn't come out as black as I want. I was looking for a Sharpie, but I couldn't find it. But I just wanted to add some kind of color to it because, like I said, it could get rolled around on feet and it was white tape, so it was gonna get all dingy and dirty and gross looking. So at least with this, you don't have to worry about discoloration. Um, I still want to make one with electric tape. Those are the ones that come out the best, but I needed one right now. So 
This one will work for now, and I'm pretty sure I'll go back over to KT tape one with electric tape because this one feels the most sturdy. And then I'm also going to make one with golf balls, so I have a variety of them, different sizes, blah, blah, blah. But my hands are beat up. I'm done with my peanuts. Um, I'm home. I'm tired. I stink horribly. So I'm about to hop in the shower, and I'm going to call it right here. This is about to hurt so bad. Here goes. Ah!